on today's churchcast.com screencast show, adding a black highlight to text in ProPresenter <laughs> Welcome again to the churchtechcast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So this actually comes to me from the ProPresenter users group, which is located over at facebook.com slash groups slash ProPresenter users group. It's a group I've uh, uh, created a while back. We've got uh, nearly a thousand members now, including a couple of people Let's keep this quiet from Renewed Vision. So um, we're just a community of people helping each other out, uh, sharing tips, tricks, and these tutorials. So head over there. Anyway, um, someone asked, okay, I saw, I saw them and I can't remember who them is. Um, but anyway, he saw a nationally known group put a black highlight behind white text. How could I do that? So I did a little investigation and I'm gonna show you. Braxton Turner asked if there was a way to highlight text in ProPresenter. Now, the first thing that came to mind was the Telestrator because what I can do is I can go to, now that's the spotlight, circle, pin. I can do the pin, make the pin nice and big, go there and then do that. Now that's not exactly what I wanted. First off, it obscures this instead of, you know, maybe you wanted to underline it, but that's live, and that's not what he wanted it to do, so that's not the right way to do it. Actually, on asking for clarification, what he was asking is to do something like this, where there's a black bar underneath the text. So this is actually not all that difficult to do, but what that could get really cumbersome. So let me to show you all the steps that I would go through to get this so that it becomes easy after you do it the first time. So the first thing that you're going to do here, let's go to, yeah, let's go here and let's clear all. So I'm going to right click here, edit slide, and now what I'm going to do is click on this and that brings up this white box which I'm going to drag up here well undo that okay now I'm going to drag it up here and I'm going to resize it still too big I need to have a little bit of gap in between so that it looks like a black highlight actually so I'm gonna where it goes just barely above and just barely below so Bigger text would be easier with this, but you know what you're going to do. Now I'm going to click over here on this tab. See where it says fill color? I'm going to click on that and I've got these different color picker options. I really like the colored pencils. So I'm going to go with licorice, which is basically black. Now I could change the opacity here if I wanted to, um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that solid black 100% and then click that. Now I need to add another one doing basically the exact same thing. So I click up here, I move this, 
and this time I'm going to want to extend this almost to the end so that if I apply this to other lyrics, it extends all the way. So again, resizing. I don't think my MacBook Pro likes me doing this while recording the screencast of me doing this, but that's okay. I'm going to do it anyway. So there we go. That's a good skinny highlight. And now I'm going to go back again and change it to licorice. So you'll see that I've obscured the lyrics. So that's not what I want whatsoever. What I need to do is I need to reorder those. So that's these two shape elements. In this case, what I can do is I can just move the text element on top of the two shape elements. I could also have used these buttons to accomplish that. Six of one, half dozen of the other. But now if we get out of the editor and uh, bring up video here, you'll see it was kind of like that, and now it is like this. So that absolutely works. I might tweak it a little bit, but just for the sake of this, let's uh, right click and let's again, this is one of the best things about ProPresenter. Basically, I think they added it in four, but five and six is where it really started to shine, and that's going to be a save selected slide as template group. So I'm going to do that and call that black high light 2 because I've already created one. Okay, and now I can just apply that to this one. Right click, go to template, black highlight 2. And when I click on it again, there it is. Now, again, what I want to do is I actually want to select all these bad boys and do that all at once. So I was holding, I was holding down Command while I clicked to select a range or to select each one individually. I believe I could do a shift click as well. But now I go to template. And again, black highlight to template. And now all of them are like that. So once you've done this once and you've got it the way that you want it, you can apply it quickly and easily. And when you decide, yeah, we don't like that anymore, no problem. You just go back into template. And um, I believe that that was regular. And it's gone. So again, templates come to our rescue once again to do things like this and make a trendy idea able to be reversed as soon as the trend ends. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you're starting to think, okay, well, maybe a black highlight isn't for me, but Maybe I could do other colors, or maybe there's something that I could do, you know, to liven up a presentation for kids. No matter what, go ahead and do that. And uh, by the way, I think it was uh, the Passion Tour or um, anyway, it was one of those. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. It was one of those groups that had this. So go ahead and try this out and see if you can come up with some creative ways to use this trick with uh, ProPresenter 6 and your church to go out and change eternity. By the way, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. And if you're over on my site, trinitydigitalmedia.com, after you do that, 
Just go to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter and sign up for my email newsletter where I'll send you links to, I've got a couple of ProPresenter courses that I've been in development on. So I'm going to send you some links to those and some other church tech training resources to help you out with what you do in the church. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.